So in the last session we started with the uh, harmonic measurement of harmonic distortions and in that I told you we have three different circuitries that can be used uh, a tunable sector circuit, a heterodyne type and a distortion measuring uh, type so within the tunable sector circuit I told you that uh, what we do is we pass the signal through an attenuator tuned using an oscillator to a particular frequency and then use using a tunable amplifier we can allow a selective frequency component to move through uh, and that can be measured using a vacuum tube based voltmeter or in other case we can what we can do is that the attenuator is tuned to 100 percent of the fundamental frequency in such a case uh, all the harmonic components will be passed through as the fraction of the fundamental component and this amplifier is set to a fixed gain without irrespective of the frequency component all the frequency components will be amplified uh, proportionally and will be able to measure the magnitude of each and every harmonic component as, uh, the, as the proportional to the measurement measured value of the fundamental frequency component Raj bhi kuch issue hai Sir maximum students ko connect nahi ho raha hai so in this tunable selective circuit what we can do is that we tune we set the attenuator to a particular frequency level using the oscillator and uh, using a tunable amplifier we can either allow a particular frequency component to pass through or if we tune if we use uh, for a constant gain amplifier if the attenuator is set to actually 100 percent of the fundamental frequency component Harmonics can be uh, measured using the VTBM as a fraction of the magnitude of the fundamental frequency component. So this is the first type and the second type that is the heterodyne type. In the second type that is the heterodyne type again the input signal is passed through an attenuator uh, then fed to a mixer so the mixer actually basically or uh, the job of a mixer is to uh, mix two signals of varying of different frequencies to obtain uh, that this process actually known as heterodyne uh, mixing two signals of different frequencies to obtain a signal that's of that will be of intermediate frequency level so using this heterodyne type what we can do is we can mix the signal in this mixer we specifically either uh, obtain the summation of the two uh, that is the input signal and the oscillator signal or we can get the difference of the two frequency components so we can get if uh, the input signal has a frequency of omega uh, c say for example and the oscillator has a frequency of omega naught we can either obtain a frequency of omega c minus omega naught or omega c plus omega naught our amplifier is tuned uh, to this particular frequency level either omega c minus omega naught or i have omega c plus omega naught and it will selectively pass only that frequency component that then can be measured using the VTBM. So in this case, what we do is that we uh, analyze the waveform uh, that's actually combined in a mixer, uh, combined in a mixer by 
mixing two signals that's the input signal and the signal coming from the oscillator then this uh, mixed signal is passed through a selective amplifier this will be a selective amplifier here uh, this amplifier is already uh, tuned to a particular frequency level so our os so we'll be getting the magnitude of that particular frequency component only and in this case it will be tuned to the harmonic frequency levels uh, we know the harmonic order of different frequencies 50 100 150 hertz uh, so we try to measure the harmonic component only we try to measure the magnitude of these harmonic components only So this is uh, how a heterodyne type works. It mixes two different frequency components and the tuned frequency component, uh, the amplifier and the oscillator are set in such a fashion so that the output frequency level actually represents a particular frequency, a particular harmonic frequency component of the input waveform. So almost the principle of operation is almost same you are now only in some cases you are uh, using an attenuator in some cases you are mixing the signals and then passing through an amplifier uh, so that there, there are specific advantages of using different types of uh, measuring devices uh, and I will list all those advantages of different types of measuring devices in the end. The third type is actually the distortion measurement or it's also known as the fundamental suppression method. So in the fundamental suppression method or the distortion measurement type what we do is we suppress or we reject the fundamental frequency component only uh, while as all other frequency components are allowed to pass through that means we'll get a major of the total distortion of uh, this major of total distortion using this method we do not obtain uh, the magnitude of individual frequency com components we actually measure the total distortion uh, the magnitude of the total distortion uh, in any waveform by by suppressing the fundamental uh, frequency component only fine so what how we can actually do that is we actually make this uh, signal pass through a high pass Higher pass filter that means all higher frequency components will be allowed so this frequency will be actually greater than the 50 hertz so all higher frequency components will be passed through while as the fundamental frequency that is at 50 hertz in, say in case of a power system will be suppressed will not be allowed to pass through or we can also use a veins bridge so a vein bridge can actually be uh vein bridge may calculate so we actually will tune the vein bridge to the fundamental frequency component so in case at the uh, fundamental frequency component the vein bridge will be balanced so the output produced at uh, at that time will be zero while as for all other frequency components the bridge will be unbalanced so it will produce some amount of some magnitude of output for other frequency components but for the fundamental frequency component since the vein bridge is tuned to a tuned to the fundamental frequency component it will become it will be a balanced bridge at the fundamental frequency so the output voltage produced at that time will be zero uh, so this as i said i'm repeating that this device helps us measure the total distortion and it will not help us just uh, measure the amplitude of individual distortion components so the block diagram of this uh, particular uh, circuitry is something like this
we have an attenuator with a uh, that will be one is to one or one is to hundred. In this case, we are using an impedance converter. So this impedance converter will actually uh, have a high impedance value so as to re reject the noise signals. Uh, it will actually be a noise filter, sort of a noise filter. Uh, so this is uh, <clears throat> what a fundamental suppression uh, device looks like. Uh, so in this case, the input is actually applied to a network of filters, a network of amplifiers rather, uh, that actually suppress uh, the fundamental frequency component, while as allowing all the frequency components, uh, so that we can get a measure of the total harmonic distortion in this uh, using this uh, device we will not get the magnitude of individual frequency components using the heterodyne type and using the tunable selective type we can get the major of individual frequency component because we are only aligned a particular frequency component to pass through using the selective amplifier in case of selective in case of tunable selective circuit as well as in the case of heterodyne type but in this case, we are allowing all the frequency components other than the fundamental frequency to pass through. Uh, so this will give us a magnitude of total harmonic distortion. Uh, we cannot but measure the magnitude of individual frequency components. So this will not give us the spectrum of harmonics. Uh, to obtain the spectrum of harmonic components, we will be uh, studying spectrum analyzers in the next session so how spectrum analyzers can give us a display of each and individual harmonic component that would be studied in select to spectrum analyzers using this we get only the magnitude of the thd we get the value of thd using this method fine so initially the input is passed through an attenuator this attenuator can be a one to one or a one to hundred attenuator the magnitude uh, will either be 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 100. Uh, then it's passed through an impedance converter. Impedance converter, this is a basically a, offers a high input impedance so as to actually filter out the noise. So it will actually produce low, it will reduce the noise and low noise will be passed through this circuitry. And then we have actually uh, the combination of amplifiers pre-amplifier vein bridge and the bridge amplifier so this particular circuit will be tuned to the fundamental frequency component so at fundamental frequency component the vein bridge will be balanced and the output voltage at that at uh, during balance condition the bridge produces a zero output voltage so zero will be actually produced for that case whereas for all of the frequency components the bridge will be unbalanced uh, it will produce some output voltage. 
that will then be fed to a post attenuator again it will uh, because we are amplifying the circuitry we need to attenuate to a particular frequency level then we'll have the metering device uh, to measure the magnitude of the total harmonic distortion So THD is uh, given as under root of uh, B2 square plus B3 square plus B4 square plus so on uh, where B2, B3, B4 actually represent the individual distortion factors. Uh, we actually know this, we have actually studied this formula as um, Where B2, B, B3, B4, they will be simply I2 by I1, I3 by I1, I4 by I1, where I1 is actually the fundamental frequency component. I2, I3, I4, extra, they are uh, the fundamental, they are the magnitude components corresponding to different harmonic orders. So uh, this THD can be calculated using the uh, using this fundamental frequency suppression device.